I want to remind y'all that this is a no talking room. Nothing changes until after Sunday. No talking in this room. It's very much appreciated by me, especially me, and your neighbor. Please put your hands together for Matt Hoggart, Johnny Barbato, and Jed Clint. I'll tell you right now, you don't want to piss her off. <laughs> I move for you in a heartbeat. Yeah. You can be my vice president because you got a drink holder on your mic stand. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to vote for Johnny Barbato. <laughs> that was freaking great. I love that song. <laughs> yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That's all I'm playing tonight. <laughs> I wrote about football years ago. I played some football when I was a kid. I moved here in Alabama. Met some guy named Richard Tide. Anybody know Richard Tide? Yeah! Woo! Quarterback! I was, I, I was a quarterback too. That motherfucker was bigger than me and faster than me and smarter than me, but I was a whole lot meaner than him. <laughs> and I was beating his ass about 21 to nothing in a little practice game. And I fumbled and I, I came into the sideline. Old coach patted me on the ass and he said, way to go, Barbada. And I told that son, just kiss my ass. Because that's from Louisiana. That's what we do. He decided to beat my ass. I decided to fight back. <laughs> I wrote this song for him. I guess the class of 74.
This song, 1974, I was sleeping on the floor of an artist studio in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And uh, I'd been there for a few weeks and I was getting kind of lonesome. Anyway, I was thinking, boy, it should be nice to know a gal <laughs> somewhere. But I didn't know one for miles. But I have a terrific memory and a vivid imagination, so I wrote this song. <laughs> and this is for all you ladies, and it's for, I need one monitor here. And this is for whoever it is you want to be from. I'm the proxy guy. I travel too much to have a life. I love my life. Actually, I've been on the road since 1966. I took a little time out of the veteran. I did that thing. And I worked a real job up until April 7th in 1973. But you know, when you wear a suit and tie every day, it costs too much to work. You gotta get that stuff clean. You can't wipe your hands on your pants. And you can't get any work done because you get too damn hot. Anyway, so I quit that shit. <laughs> I need her when she's not around My soul aches while well, my heart waits Like a lost child waits to be found And in my mind I see her She's everything I want her to be The only thing she cares about doing Is taking good care of me Lovely baby Haven't seen her in a long, long time You know she's always on my mind Sure would like to see her again today such a lovely lady If I could be with her just once more I would love her like never before And we would have one another for a while I never know where she's coming from It doesn't matter where she's been All I know is when I'm in her arms The world seems nice again She doesn't always look the same And she has a lot of different names but I always seem to know when I see her and it's loving time again Lovely lady If I could be with her just once more I would love her like never before And we would have one another for a while Such a lovely lady If I could just see her again Maybe it wouldn't have to end And I wouldn't be here wishing like I am now For my lovely lady I haven't seen her in a long, long time You know she's always on my mind Sure would like to see her again today Sure would like to see her again See her again today Thank you guys for hanging out here and listening to us, by the way. It's really cool. We're used to loud honky tonks where people want to hear free bird backwards. I like the frontwards. But not much. I just got off the road and I was doing a show called the American Legacy Tour for, to benefit veterans. And one myself, I was in the Army and, and uh, I learned something pretty disturbing. Thank you, thank you that over 40% of our homeless people in this country are veterans, and I think it's a travesty that the word homeless and veteran should ever be used in the same sentence. Unless it's a homeless veteran of the Iraqi army. In that case, they can go to hell. Yeah. So this is a song I wrote uh, for some friends of mine that came back. They did a lot more in the uh, military than I did, and wrote this for them. Oh, 
attending Uncle Sam called us to fight With our BB guns, camouflage pants And old Swiss Army knives Well, JP was my battle buddy With a pint-sized green berets And he had my back when no squirrels attacked Around our secret base And the scars of God while fighting Were healed by supper time And I never lost a battle In that small town of mine Back in war, wasn't war And your best friend didn't bleed and Yelling in that darkness Was mama calling me of folding flags to mourn and time was all we had to kill and war was on war well we signed our names on that dotted line and we both turned 18 and after 13 weeks at Leonard Wood they sent us overseas but the night the Sarge ordered lock and load Taking me and pray Well man we felt those gates of hell Open up on judgment day And it was like the world exploded we stumble and we'd fall I wish like hell I was bulletproof Like I was when I was small Back when war was war And your best friend didn't bleed Finally over, and I'm kneeling by JP, wishing we were kids again in a game of make believe. Running through that backyard, chasing me around. And when I yell bang bang, you're dead. You just fall down. Back when war wasn't war. And my best friend didn't bleed And yelling in that darkness Was mama calling me We folded paper airplanes Instead of one more flag to mourn And time was all we had to kill And war was on Back when peace was just a sign we'd make And war Oh, 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 oh.